In the aftermath of the August 21st chemical weapons attack near Damascus, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry announced Saudi Arabia will support military intervention in Syria. Kerry's comments come after a three-hour meeting with Arab League foreign ministers in Paris. The meeting was originally intended to discuss Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. But Kerry emerged from the meeting with what appeared to be another victory in his campaign to build international support. The announcement comes after the G20 summit in Russia, where more than a dozen countries condemned Syrian President Bashar al-Assad for his alleged use of chemical weapons. None of the Arab leaders at the Paris meeting officially signed that condemnation, though NBC's Andrea Mitchell reports the Arab League did have strong words for Assad. All of the Arab leaders here today did condemn Assad's use of chemical weapons universally, uh, they said that it was Assad and they condemned it as crossing an international red line. But aside from Saudi Arabia, the U.S. is having a tough time finding support in the Middle East for its planned military intervention. Qatar, an ardent supporter of Syria's rebels, has quietly backed down from its pro-intervention rhetoric. The Atlantic reports the country's recent power transition has left them with a cautious emir and foreign minister. And Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who has strongly encouraged Western military intervention in Syria, faces stiff opposition from protesters and political opponents at home. But Kerry's push for international support continues, with the Secretary of State telling a French audience Saturday that inaction would send a disastrous message. This is our chance to join together and pursue accountability over appeasement. That this is not the time to be silent spectators to slaughter. On the home front, President Obama is scheduled to make his case for military intervention to the nation during a series of interviews Monday night and a televised speech Tuesday. For Newsy, I'm Bryce Sander.